welcome. The holidays are upon us, and today we are making my Mary Berry Gin Tea. That is because it is a rosemary, cranberry, gin and tonic. The only ingredients are a gin, fresh rosemary, jelly cranberry sauce, cranberry juice, tonic, and sugar. The recipe is made in two parts. You're going to have to do the first part beforehand. Do it the day before and let it chill overnight. What we're gonna be making is a cranberry reduction syrup with rosemary infused into it. The first part of this cocktail recipe is the cranberry reduction syrup with rosemary infused into it. You need two cups of cranberry juice, half a can of jelly cranberry, a quarter cup of sugar, and fresh rosemary. What we're gonna do is combine all of the ingredients except for the rosemary first into a saucepan. And we're going to set that heat on high. What we're going to do is bring it to a boil and keep stirring it for about four to five minutes. I'm just going to chop up that jellied cranberry. And once it starts heating up and you warm it up for about four or five minutes on a high temperature, everything should combine together. You won't have any hard pieces left. And then from there, what we're going to do is drop the temperature after that first four or five minutes and let it simmer on a very low temperature, no boiling, for about 20 minutes. Now you may be wondering when the rosemary goes in. That's actually after it has done that simmering for 20 minutes or so. We're going to put the rosemary in and let it sit in there until it cools down. Once it cools down, we'll transfer it to a container, put it into the refrigerator and let it sit and cool. As this is boiling, you will see the solid pieces of the jelly cranberry dissolving into the liquid along with the sugar dissolving into the liquid, the cranberry juice. And what I'm looking for is for all of those solid pieces to be dissolved so it's all liquid. And once that happens, which I think we're really close to, I'm going to drop the temperature down to that low, low simmer. There we go. And until that temperature drops while it's still boiling, I'm going to keep stirring it. Now, once it is simmering, I don't necessarily have to stir it the whole time, but I am going to keep a close eye on it because once half of the liquid has evaporated, even if it hasn't been 20 minutes, then it's done. Looks like we have it to a nice low simmer now. So we're gonna set the clock for 20 minutes. Actually, we might set it for 15 minutes just so I can check back and make sure that it doesn't overcook. 15 minutes, and that's starting now. Okay, it has been 15 minutes, and it doesn't look like it's reduced quite enough, so we're gonna need that extra five minutes, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and drop in our fresh rosemary to start infusing that flavor for these last five minutes. And I moved it from a low one to a three in terms of uh, temperature, for this last five minutes. The way that the reduction syrup looks is more important than the actual amount of time. I actually let it go a little bit more than that final five minutes because it had not reduced down enough. What we want is for part of the liquid to be gone. So now I have about half the liquid that was in my pan has dissolved or uh, evaporated rather. And I'm going to turn off 
the heat. And I'm going to take a glass bowl because glass bowls aren't going to break on you. Just make sure it's room temperature. I'm going to pour the syrup into the glass bowl and then just let it cool down at room temperature. I found Tom's. And I'm actually going to pull out all of the rosemary. The cool thing about fresh, really fresh rosemary is that it doesn't really fall apart on you like dried or, you know, older rosemary does. So we don't have any pieces in there. And we're just gonna let it cool down. Once it cools down, I'm gonna put the lid on it and put it in the refrigerator and let it chill so that we can mix it into our cocktail. Check back then. All right, bye. See, I have transferred our cranberry reduction syrup into a mason jar for easier pouring. And what we're gonna do is two ounces, one and a half ounces, so a typical shot of gin, and with our ice. I'm gonna mix that up, and what we're doing is we are making sure everything is nice and icy. And obviously, our tonic is carbonated, so we don't want to put that in and shake it off. And our last piece. Top off the tonic. And there is our Mary Berry g &T. Cheers. Tastes like Christmas and Thanksgiving all at once.